Oh, of course. I'll go change the keg real quick. So just uh, hold it out like right here when you do it. Yeah, all right. Not like out here. Yeah, well, I was, yeah I understand that. <laughs> Second chance, scene one, take one. I hate you. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of What's On Draft. I'm here with Marty at Second Chance. What is on draft? So we have quite a variety today. I'm starting off with one of my favorite styles, which is a, uh, a porter. I heard you might have won an award. We got gold at the GABF this year. Tabula rasa is uh, Latin for blank slate. I'm assuming that one's right here. That is right there. You keep on drinking that one, but which one should I drink first? I would start, this is our uh, Brubies on my mind. All right, I, I love uh, supporting breast cancer. That's right. Supporting breast cancer awareness, I hope. <laughs> Semantics, I feel. <laughs> so this is our Pink Saison, you know, the lovely Melanie Pierce and the Brubies Foundation, Keep a Breast Foundation. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. And, yeah. uh, they asked people to bring pink beers. We settled on um, using hibiscus flowers in our traditional Saison. We bump it up with a little bit more uh, orange peel and lemon peel. There's some grains of paradise in there. It gives a little peppery. And so we decided to make that a full-time uh, beer. And so 5% of all sales, whether it's uh, kegs distributed mm -hmm. or sales here in the tap room, are all donated to uh, Keep Abreast. I've always been a, a fan of moderation. Even moderation on your moderation. But <laughs> so, so basically, don't but, drink and drive. That's right. Because you could hit a bump and spill it, you know? Right, yeah. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I started off saying this is probably not the right direction to go, but... No, no, no. We're, we're going to go in that direction the entire conversation. <laughs> All right. Well, so speaking of we, we, we uh, spilling, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I hope I won't spill this. You one. might like this. This is our uh, Mulligan Irish Red. Uh, that's literally one of my favorite styles ever yeah. made. One of my favorite styles as well. I think it's just a perfectly balanced beer. We have like three different types of uh, caramel malts in there, Willamette and Golding hops. When people come in and are new to craft beer, I think the Irish Red is one of the best ones to introduce them to. No, yeah, what, what I love about an Irish Red is the fact that it is, is it's rounded on every aspect, like the flavor profile of the malt, but then it also has that slight bitterness, so you, you literally taste all four ingredients. There's nothing written on here because we're unprofessional, but... It's fine. Second sticks. <laughs> All right. Second sticks. Uh, second chance. Scene two. There you go. We'll get you guys a uh, dry erase marker after this. <laughs> <laughs> the space is amazing, and yeah, you can really do some awesome things here. Like yeah. We hold a lot of fundraisers because, you know, if you're going to have a fundraiser, you need space for people to come, check yeah, in, yeah. get a beer, move around, and so we, we've been able to set that up really nicely. Yeah, coffee IPA. Coffee IPA, yeah. Naughty sauce, nice, you know, great beer. It's, for me, it's not always, it's not like an IPA. And so with this, I really wanted the IPA to, to come out first and then have the coffee aromas in there to, to mix with it. We we're trying different techniques, but also it was the, the right type of coffee. And so this coffee has, a, I don't like it as a coffee. It's very tea-like, light, blonde, which just happens to pair really well with citrusy hops. It just kind of took off. It's been one of our more uh, successful beers. We actually start canning it. You know, it's tightening up a little bit as we have so many breweries now. You, of course, want to help give advice and, and help out when possible, you know, trading hops or whatever. But you do have to kind of tighten it up a little bit when it comes to some of the uh, ingredient or technique that, that you do. If I were you, I would go back over here and I would start with, this is our take two, it's a English style brown ale. English brown, kind of nut brown style. Yeah. Um, it's one of my favorite styles as well. And it just has that hint of uh, roasty, kind of that dry cocoa. Like an English brown is just perfect for literally any, any occasion. It's a thousand times better than Newcastle. Oh. <laughs> I haven't had that in a long time because, you know, no, I, I was more influenced by beers like this uh, Samuel Smith's. Oh, Samuel Smith's uh, is so Nut good. Brown, the, the, the Porter. Also, Sierra Nevada uh, was big influence on me. I actually uh, graduated from Chico State and really got me into uh, beer. No, this is really good. So speaking of uh, Legally Red, that's going to be your next beer. All right, yeah. let's do this. 
Legally Red's our uh, red IPA. This one is the uh, nitro version. Cascade, Centennial, Dry Hop. I, I can literally taste all of that. Yeah. Like, it's really good. Yeah. I taste Cascade, but it's definitely like subdued, yes. But because we have so many different hops out there, we developed our, um, our revolving hop series called Clever Hoppy Name. So this is Clever Hoppy Name number two. The first was a extra pale ale. This one is a rye IPA. So the rye malt's gonna add a lot of spicy character to the malt, and then we use much more aggressive hops, Equinox and Comet, Dank and Resiny. I, I love rye IPAs. My girlfriend actually is obsessed with rye IPAs. Oh yeah? I'll send her some with you. New Year's resolutions still being a thing, like I don't give a fuck about them. You know, you can resolve to drink more beer. You ever think of that? I mean, I've never planned to do that, I mean, why does a New Year's resolution have to be, like, getting rid of stuff or getting in shape? I mean, why? Why? Well, that, that's the thing, though. Like, I want to drink more beer, so I'm going to work out more. It's the life choice. Life choice. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I often get asked how I, you know, maintain the slim yeah, physique you're... being a, a brewer, and I'm like, well, because we're actually doing the work. I don't, I don't know if anyone knows, but you sweat a lot. Yeah. When you're brewing. I have a workout theory. You know, you take, get those bags of grain and, and get them up on that platform. That's why I say, instead of Orange Theory, you, we have, you know, Brew Theory. And you can run with this if you want, because I just really don't have time. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. What's brewer, on draft? Brewer, Brewer's Boot Camp. Present pints. Drink. Man, put that track clip on quick, boy. What are you gonna do with this is beer and this ain't water, huh? I've seen cold caustic move faster in Milwaukee at 37 degrees. Fashion you kids are crawling right now. What's the ideal fermentation temperature for an IPA? 16. Wrong! How many trillion cells of trap disease? You pitch in a 15 barrel batch of Golden Strong Ale at a specific gravity of 1.060. 25. You can't hesitate like that. But I think Brewer's Boot Camp is, uh, is a legitimate. We should trademark that before uh, this is aired. Can you give me another slate, Aaron? Yeah. Second chance, slate four, because Tom's an asshole. So we're playing around with some uh, wine barrels now. And um, so this is our uh, glorious Belgian golden ale, and then we put it in the uh, Pinot Noir barrel for a few months. Oh, yeah. There we go. It, it, it in no way is, is sour. More, this is more, to me, it's more of a farmhouse, I guess, flavors. That's yeah, no, little, no, it, no. It, it I, I get it a that. Rough, a rough, oaky character. This has so much complexity to it. I can't even comprehend. I'm not saying you're uh, talking a lot, but our taproom bartender, Marta, just uh, arrived. <laughs> I haven't met her, but. Hi. Believe me, I'm always going to brew Irish Red, don't worry, English Brown, Tabula Rasa, which is going to be this last beer. So I started brewing porters, but if you look at my recipe from 2000, that was crap. You know, it was horrible beer. I ended up bringing the black malt way down, really up in chocolate malt. This obviously won the award for the right reason. Like, this is amazing. It's yeah. really good. I want you to keep on being you. Oh, Oop, sorry. I'm at the heart, not the mic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Say something about the congrats on your GAB Admental is well deserved for this beer, but I'll let you get back to work. So congrats on congrats this. On GABF Metal. One other thing before we do that, me and my girlfriend were at Cabrillo National Monument. Oh. Tell, tell them about this later. Just give me the... <laughs> All right, I think it might be a cool thing. <laughs> so what, what specifically do you want? Hey Marty, congrats to your literally gold medal winning. Hey Marty, congrats to your GBF went on, on what was this called? It's ta Tabula Rasa. That's our episode for this week. Uh, we'll see you next week. What's on draft? What's up? Congrats Marty on this beer, Tabula Rasa. It's so much well deserved for the GBF gold medal winning. Well, congrats Marty on this beer, uh, winning GBF gold medal winning. Congrats on your gold medal for this beer. I know you have to get back to work. Done. Say that. Fuck you. Remember what tabula rasa means? I just mess with his head now. Table, blank slate. Yeah, blank slate. Blank slate. Kind of like your mind. 
yeah. right now. <laughs> right now. One more time. I actually had a Paps chandelier. It doesn't, Aaron, just close the fucking show out, man. I just wanted to tell him that. Tell him that when we're done rolling, we have to fucking finish. Say it one more time, Tom. Marty, congratulations on your gold medal win at GABF for this beer. It was well-deserved, but I know you have to get back to work finding that beer. That is it for this episode of What's on Draft. We will see you next Monday. Goodbye. <laughs> Quiero que me quiera, no me quiere como quiero, no me quiere como yo.